Welcome back to Franco Fridays. Today's film is The Erotic Rites of Frankenstein, 1972, one of Jess Franco's three monster rally films, uh, a homage, if you will, to the Universal films, but also a homage to kind of the Euro horror comics of the 50s and 60s that he was particularly fond of. The three monster rally films I'm talking about, of course, is the erotic rites of Frankenstein, Dracula's daughter, and then Dracula, prisoner of Frankenstein. In this film, we've got uh, Howard Vernon playing Calistrato, and he is bent on world domination, or, or at least attempting to mate Frankenstein's monster with some of the most beautiful women he can find. And that only just Franco could pull off a script storyline like that. And while the film is a homage to the Universal and horror comics, EC comics, it's really a kind of a tongue-in-cheek, surrealist fantasy. Uh, it, it turns a lot of the normal conventional tropes of horror genre on its head. We all, uh, most people that have seen this film or know anything about Franco and his Frankenstein films are, are well familiar with the fact that we've got in this film a silver metallic Frankenstein. And that's obviously going to be off-putting to purists and conventional horror fans. But again, this is coming at it from a different perspective, uh, almost tongue-in-cheek kind of look at horror in only a way that Franco can do. So I, you got to kind of go with it and, and be a little bit flexible and forgiving as to as to what you expect from a conventional horror film versus a Franco film. Franco also goes about breaking down your normal conventional horror films by inserting, uh, in the midst of what I would call this monster rally universal type homage, you've got his typical brand of adult sex, nudity, both male and female, full frontal, uh, torture, and eroticism, and only a way that we know and love from Franco. The centerpiece of the film is, a, is a, a scene of kind of a hell with really some beautiful lighting, Bava-esque type lighting. But you've got this scene with Howard Vernon and his vulture bird woman friend. She's like a vampire with, with like fuzzy green uh, claws on her hands. Crazy stuff. She's basically nude other than this other than these furry claw hands that she's got on. Uh, they carry out a whipping torture scene with a male, fully nude male and female servant that have screwed things up and they've tied them up and then they've got Frankenstein's monster whipping these two while the onlookers are a bunch of skeletons and, and an elf with Spock ears. It's just crazy, batshit crazy stuff that uh, it's just, it's it's great. I love it. Love it. Erotic Rites was one of nine Franco films produced and directed in 1972. And, uh, of course, it stars Howard Vernon as the Calistrato character. He's kind of a mess of Stopheles. He's, in, he's bent on world domination and mind control. Which is, and of course, mind control permeates all the Franco films practically. He was obsessed with mind control. I think it's more of a metaphor for uh, the Spanish Franco regime and how people were persecuted and uh, under the Franco regime, regime. So the mind control to me is kind of an extension of that that reality. It also the film also stars Dennis Price in one of his last roles. I think he died like a year after this. Of course, he was in a lot of the Hammer films. He was in, had all kinds of cameos and uh, Horror of Frankenstein, for example. And uh, Brett Nichols, who plays Madame Orloff, she's in this as well. It's looking gorgeous. Um, Franco makes an early appearance as Morpho, kind of the almost kind of like a uh, Dwight Fry type servant for the Dr. Frankenstein, but he gets killed off like in the first five minutes. Uh, Franco, besides, of course, we've got Daniel White with his 
musical score. And this is kind of a very interesting jazz fusion, uh, tropical drums, heavy drum sound. Very, very interesting, interesting and unique fusion s type music. Lena Romay. Now this is the this this Rena Kino Redemption release. This is the um, this is the French cut, which is the full nude version, and this is the version that Franco. Uh, was quoted as saying this is the version that I was the truest representation of what I intended in the film there's a it's about 75 minutes long there's a Spanish version which is uh, I believe five or ten minutes longer that has uh, introduced for the first time Lena Romay and uh, her the shots of her in this film are all only in the Spanish version which I've never I've never seen with this release, you get um, a great audio commentary by Tim Lucas. Of course, it's, it's a ma it's a high de high definition master. You've got French with optional English subtitles, and then an alternate English dub soundtrack. And by the way, Howard Vernon is the only one in this film that w his voice was not dubbed. So if you listen to the English English version, uh, the soundtrack, his voice. That's his voice. Apparently, he did it. He did not. He was not dubbed. Artwork from an artwork perspective, you've got pretty, pretty bland. There's nothing, nothing internal in this. Uh, but it's a, it's a great picture. The picture quality is fantastic. This film is so much fun. Let me run down. I went ahead and did a detail. I've watched this thing seven or eight times, but. Upon rewatching, I decided, you know what? This is this this film qualifies. This is so batshit crazy. Uh, this film qualifies for the Joe Bob Briggs Drive-In Countdown. So let me let me run down these totals for you. You got one Frankenstein monster painted with silver metallic paint. You got one vampire vulture bird woman. You've got one crypt with Frankenstein uh, misspelled. You've got multiple sets of boobs and bush. I, I lost count. You've got one hellish elf with Spock ears. You got two severed heads, and two female vamp, two females in nighties and chains. We couldn't get away from a torture, even in the early 70s. You could see it coming. Women and women and women in prison, women in chains, chicks in chains, that was, that was, we were already getting that as early as 1972. And one fake rubber hand. So that's my little rundown for Franco's Erotic Rites of Frankenstein. This is a 8 out of 10. Go with it. Just have fun. It's, it's not, it's not, uh, don't take this as a, uh, a critique of the film go into it just have fun with it it's a, it's a it's a tongue-in-cheek homage to the universal horror films uh, and it's it's just a lot of fun I loved it so highly recommend the erotic rites of Frankenstein that'll do it for Franco Fridays and I appreciate you watching thanks <laughs>